Hello, my name is Amy and I am an origami addict. <sighs> the other day, Kendra and I decided that we should include something in every single video and we came to the conclusion that origami would be awesome. So there will always be origami hidden or very obvious in our videos. So maybe in the background or whatever. Today, mine is going to be extraordinarily obvious. For instance, this is a Starbucks, which I made. All of a sudden that sounded like I said Starbucks and it made me want one. <laughs> but it's a Starbucks. It's very epic. I think this is one of my favorites. Um, but background on my uh, addiction here. I decided that I needed official origami paper because computer paper just wasn't working out for me. I made a piano. I made a sailboat. So I went to the store and um, bought a kit, an origami kit, and then I bought a hundred sheets of extra paper. Here is a, just a regular square box. I like that pattern on the box there. It makes me dizzy. Here is a little box. I can't remember what this one's called. Something in J Japanese or whatever. This is just a regular boat. Super cute. I made a whale. It's cute. This is an orchid. It's pretty shiny. I use shiny paper. This is called um, a bubble or something, but it's square, except that it's uh, nice and filled with air. And then I made a cream. I think this one is my favorite. It's probably the most well-recognized origami shape or pattern or whatever. Um, but there you go, that's the cream. Here's my 100 pieces of extra paper. Haven't even opened it yet. And this one is a table. Oh, it's little legs are right now. There you go. I made a table. It's cute. I tried to pick out um, paper that looked the closest like um, a picnic tablecloth thing. This is a hat. I made it out of tiny paper. I didn't really want a big hat, but that's cute. I made a seal. <laughs> this is cute. This is my little purple bird. I made it purple. You can't really tell. The lighting is bad. I made it purple for Kendra. Kendra, I'm going to send you this bird. And you have to keep it always. This is one of my favorites, too. It's a fish. I thought it was pretty adorable. Yeah, I agree. I like it. I made a swan. Here's another... Oh, no. This is the cup. Which, made out of sturdier paper, would be like one of those little Dixie cups. I think that's pretty cool. This is my car. And this is actually my car. Made it out of red. Shiny red, because my car is red. It's a little boxier than my car, but whatever. This is a um, samurai hat. Again, I made it out of tiny paper. You'd need really big paper to make that actually fit. Here's my other hat. I think that brings us too close. Okay, so the sound is off during this part for some reason. So I'll tell you what I was saying. This jar that I'm holding is called the Send Amy to Europe Fund. I've been saving all the change in my jar because Kendra and I are going to Europe. And in a second, I'm going to tell you that I'm about to count this money. Hopefully that section of the video will work. So here we go. And the grand total of the Send Amy to Europe fund is... $34.80. Ah! That is $22.75 in quarters, $7.60 in dimes, $2.50 in nickels, and $1.95 in pennies. That's right, I just counted 195 pennies. Be proud. So there you go. That is uh, my update for you. I'm a little confused about the question situation. So, yeah, let me know if I was supposed to do a question. But I really don't know. So, I just want you to know that I am praying for you, Rachel and Kendra. And P.S. You're awesome. <laughs>